Bitcoin loses $1,000 in three minutes as U.S. CPI inflation overshoots. We're going to jump into it in this video and uh, talk about what's going on here with the CPI data coming out and its impact on the overall markets. Make sure you smash the like button and subscribe. Listen, I'm still super bullish on crypto long term, but this is going to be brutal for a little while, right? We are dealing with inflation like we have yet to see in the last 40 years. We knew that coming into 2022 could be a brutal year for the markets, given how well things did amid the craziness uh, of the last two years. Now, money printing and, of course, uh, you know, overspending and over leveraging is why we're here. And now we have to battle this volatility in our crypto markets. Now, let me jump into this article real quick and talk a little bit about Bitcoin and Ethereum in particular, what's happening here with both of them. So if we scroll on down here, Bitcoin crashed below 22,000 instantly when that CPI data came out. And now we're sitting at uh, down about 5%. We're down at 21.2 uh, right now for Bitcoin. And we can see kind of what happened here on the daily. If we scroll on up, there you go. Boom. A uh, big collapse all the way from uh, 22.6 to all the way down to 21.2 at the time of this recording. Uh, now, the consensus had agreed that 8.1% would be the latest figure. And the overshoot suggested that inflation was not slowing at the expected pace. United States CPI for August year over year coming in above expectations at 8.3%. The expected number was 8.1%. However, it was lower than the number we saw in July, which was 8.5%. Now, the core CPI coming in hot at uh, about 0.6%, twice as high as the expected 0.3%. This is not what the feds want to see. So we're probably looking at another 75 basis points hike at the next meeting later this month. That's at least what we're hearing from a lot of people. We kind of thought that even before this data came out today, uh, that another 75 basis point hike could be in the cards uh, here this September. Now, as market participants increase bets on a further 75 basis point and even a potential 100 point rate hike from the Federal Reserve next week, cold feet were increasingly noticeable ahead of the Wall Street Open. This is just a test of the real. This is a tweet from Il Capo of Capo uh, earlier this morning. And then uh, Michael Van de Pope, who's somebody I follow on Twitter. Lots of volatility around these events and ton of fake outs do happen, he says. Remind yourself that and avoid excessive trading right now. Right now, lows are taken and some consolidation seems to be happening. So basically, just be careful. Tread lightly here. Do not over leverage yourself. Do not over trade. There's just a lot of volatility in the crypto markets and in the overall markets right now. Now, look at the U.S. dollar index strength, in which traditionally means headwinds for crypto. Saw a huge rebound there on the CPI news, passing 109 for the first time since September 9th. There you go. Look at that. Big reversal there on the U.S. dollar index. When the U.S. dollar index is going up, crypto is usually going down. So are uh, some of the big stock plays as well in particular ETFs. Ethereum wobbles as the merge hype fades. What about Ethereum? What's Ethereum doing with this data? Well, Ethereum 2 is down today. Uh, and let's check it out here. At the time of this recording, Ethereum is down 8.2%, down to about $1,600 right now. Even with the CPI print, this was always an area of resistance though. Uh, popular trader Altcoin Sherpa reacted. Uh, heavily interaction, heavy interaction with this level over the last year. He's still an area. It's still an area to take caution. So basically looking at this 1700 range right in here has always been an area of resistance for Ethereum going all the way back to last year. So, you know, you, you probably could have dialed back here even without CPI data. Right. But with CPI data coming out, it definitely was going to dial back and it's down even lower than what it's showing here on this chart. It's down in the low 1600 range. Uh, in fact, it might even break 1600, 1609 right now. It's bouncing a little bit off of there. So that's what we've got for you here in this video. Yes, Bitcoin and Ethereum are down. Yes, the overall crypto market is down. The US dollar index is up, showing strength. It's going to be a lot of volatility throughout the day. Now, I will say this last time we got some CPI data, 
We did go down briefly and then bounced hard to the upside. We'll see if that happens here today. We do have the Ethereum merge, which is a massive catalyst looming basically here within the next 48 to 72 hours. The Ethereum merge will happen for Ethereum. And uh, then we have the Vassal hard fork. We also have, you know, the big Fed meeting. A lot of things still to come here in September. Things can change in a hurry. But that's what we've got right now with the CPI data. That's what we uh, that's what we got with the latest news and information around the crypto space as a uh, Bitcoin price loses a thousand dollars in three minutes as the U.S. CPI inflation overshoots here today. Thank you so much for popping in, guys. Appreciate it. Make sure you smash the like button or like the smash button on your way out. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I'm here every single day for you. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.